Hello, this is the Crinkly Onion, and welcome back to another episode of Pikmin. We will be starting right back off with episode 3. Now in the last episode, we went to the Forest of Hope, and we got two parts. So, today, I'm going to try and get a couple more. I'm aiming to get two more. And luckily, I even know where they are. And also, I'm kind of hoping I can increase my numbers a bit more today. So here we go. First, I'm going to take some yellow Pikmin out, because I want to bomb some of these Locked walls. We're just gonna grab as many bomb rocks as we can. Starting with right here. Alright. Can't find any more? Okay. Here's three more. Perfect. And these guys are still alive. And nope, no you don't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down this wall real quick, and then when I'm done, I'm going to call over some reds and they're going to clear out the area. Shouldn't be too hard. Now, something to note. If you... If you press the... I believe it's the X button. Then it will separate all your Pikmin into each color group. Uh, including Bomb Rocks. They count as a different Pikmin now. So, when you're, when you're doing that... That is the... That is one of the times that it is okay to whistle at Bomb Rock Pikmin. Other than that, it's when you throw them, I believe, that they became, they became susceptible to dropping their Bomb Rocks at any time. So I'm real quick just going to set a couple on this bridge right, this gate right here. They're just going to get that a little worn down. And then the rest of these guys are going to take care of some steer grubs. Steer grubs in this game are probably at their worst. They can be super annoying. But usually I just swarm them, and then if I lose any Pikmin, I'll cut my losses there. Here we go. Alright, fine, you guys can have the sheer grubs. So, after they're all done with that, I am going to just go ahead and send all of, the, all of them over to the gate to start tearing down.
All right. Now that they're working on that, I can grab my bomb rock Pikmin, and they're going to take down this gigantic wall over here. See, this time they don't drop their bomb rocks, but if I threw one and whistled it over, it would immediately drop their bomb rock and run over here as fast as they can. This one, it's a little special. It takes nine bomb rock, I believe. So, I believe we have enough. Ooh, and the other guys took down the gate. I'm gonna get rid of these bomb rocks real quick. Oh, and over there is one of the parts we'll be getting today. Hopefully. Oh, come on, man. Take him out. There we go. Close enough. Alright, yeah. You yellows take that bowl or boulder. The reds will grab this extraordinary bolt. It's the extraordinary bolt. I bought this incredible bolt because the salesman told me it, it, it is of extraordinary quality that is indiscernible to the average person. Exactly what, exactly what makes it so extraordinary is, is a secret, but just look at it. Extraordinary. Very calm. Just gonna return ten reds, and then I'll grab the yellows. And while we're waiting for that, we're gonna grab this twenty pellet posy. Extraordinary bolt. This bolt's bolt holds the kind of value that only a true connoisseur can understand. I have now recovered 4 out of 30 parts. If I can just find one more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. And one more you shall find. In fact, I think we might be finding two more today. Come with me, Reds. You have a job to do. Oh, come on. Alright, swarm! Why is there a yellow in here? Come on, man. I found the Nova Blaster. This emits a dazzling burst of light capable of, capable of destroying almost anything. I'm not exactly sure about this, but the pro promotional brochure claims that its blast tra travel in the currents of space-time, smashing through stars and into the rifts of space. Obviously a lie, but... Apparently, Olimar will believe anything, so let's let him. Just don't say anything, guys. May as well grab these while we're at it. Ooh, one more corpse. There we go. I 
thank you for taking that 20 pellet posy back the yellows but I believe this is all I will need of you and the Nova blaster is back not that it does anything Nova blaster Nova blaster this is a weapon of such incredible destructive force that it can blast stars into tiny pieces. It has a strange allure. I have recovered 5 out of 30 parts, increasing the dolphin's capabilities. My search can now cover a wider area. Alright, so we have now unlocked the forest navel, which is where we will be going tomorrow. But we still have one last thing that we can do while we're here. gonna try and get it as close to 100 as possible so that those guys don't make me pluck too many Pikmin. Alright, so first we're gonna throw all the Pikmin up onto this ledge. Which is a slow and tedious chore whenever you have like 75 Pikmin I think but not all of them are necessary but all of them are helpful because we're going to be grabbing this piece here we are It's the shock absorber. This apparatus and contracts the shaking and swaying that normally occurs during flight. It's smooth sailing with this in place, usually. Alright you guys, this one's for the yellows. And there it is. Three items in one day. Shock Absorber. This nifty little device contracts the shaping and swaying experienced in typical space flight. I've now recovered six out of 30 parts. If I can find just six more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. So, unfortunately, we will not be returning to the Garden of Hope until we have discovered the blues and done a bit more in the Forest of Mabel. But, we will be going for a 100% completion, so... I assure you, we will be back. And would you look at that, we have exactly 100 red, red Pikmin. Isn't that wonderful? Let's see how many yellow Pikmin we have. 
92, not bad. Maybe a couple more would help. And I know that one's red, and it doesn't exactly help me too much. I'm still going to take it. There we go. That should help at least a little more. Get my numbers above 100. In every Pikmin game, I like to keep all of my Pikmin to having at least 100 in, in their respective group. Hopefully pluck all these. Now we are done with 102 yellow Pikmin. Perfect. Three days since impact. I now add yellow pigment to my list of discoveries. These creatures can wield bomb rocks, so perhaps I can use them to blast down rock walls and open up new regions. Red and yellow pigmen, as well as bomb rock carriers, break into squads when dismissed with X or when I grab one for a moment by holding A. And here are my stats for today. I generally ended with the same amount of pigmen. I sprouted 99. And I lost three. Didn't see that, but okay. Uh, no left behind though, so that's good. I have 100 red Pikmin, 102 yellow Pikmin, and 24 parts remaining with 27 days remaining. This playthrough is going well. And unfortunately, that's all the time we have left. So tomorrow we will be going to the Forest Naval, and I hope to see you all there. Uh, I was Crinkly Onion, and thank you for watching. Bye.